Whiteboards are a great way to convey information to a group of people, so it's no wonder that animated whiteboard videos are so common online. When you think of an animation like this, you may think they're really challenging to create, but actually they're relatively simple. Whiteboard videos are on a solid white background and use simple black pen marks. There's no shading, there's no 3D, and overall the style is very simple. There's a few ways to create whiteboard videos depending on the exact style you want, and we're going to cover them here. The first way is the most basic of whiteboard videos. With this method, just film yourself drawing on the whiteboard. Then bring your footage into Premiere Pro. If your footage isn't perfectly cropped, go ahead and start by doing this so that the entire clip looks correct. Then speed up your video to the desired length by using the duration tool. If there are any awkward pauses between creating drawings, you should cut those out to better the flow of the video. Then you can easily drop in any voice tracks and music tracks. If you need to adjust the speed of the video to match the sped up video, then cut out a specific drawing and slow the speed to match. The second method of creating whiteboard videos is to actually create animation. In this case, filming your drawing process isn't super important. Instead, you can draw the entire thing and take a still image. Bring this image into Premiere Pro. You'll also need a still image of the whiteboard you use to serve as a background. Now you'll have free reign to cut out and animate individual parts of your drawings. For the best results, you'll need to mask around the element you want to work with, and then duplicate the original layer and mask around a different element. It could take a while, but then you will have a more flexible workspace for the kind of edits you need to do. There are many different styles you could aim for in this video, but let's start with some basic animations. If you want to animate a shape so that it looks like it's being drawn, we're going to use masks. Start the animation with the mask completely closed so that it shows nothing, and have it quickly expand to reveal the entire object. If the object is curved or has a unique shape, adjust your mask to follow the curve. Otherwise, just use a rectangular mask to follow a straight object. You can also make elements pop in. Set the starting scale at 0 so it's invisible, then scale it up slightly over 100, such as 120. Then quickly have it bounce back to 100, and then back to around 110, then have it settle back to 100. You may need to adjust these numbers to achieve an ideal bounce look, but this style can create a realistic looking pop-in effect. Between these two techniques, you can create an awesome series of animations. Add slight position or rotation changes to make elements seem dynamic even after their primary animation, and you'll end up with a great looking video. Then remove the background on your drawing layer using the Ultra Key tool. Since the background is white and the subject should be drawn in black, it should be easy to remove the white background with the Ultra Key, then put it on top of the clean plate of the blank whiteboard. A third way is for video creators that have a digital drawing pad. You can do your whiteboard drawing on the pad and record your screen as you draw in your program of choice. Then you can use that video in the same way as we edited our live action footage in the first method. The advantage to this is that your hand won't be in the shot, meaning you'll have more flexibility in terms of other elements and effects you may want to add. Those are our three ways to create a whiteboard video. They can range from almost no editing to a lot of editing, but the version with a lot of editing is sure to impress your viewers. If you're just learning how to create a whiteboard video, let us know what method you're going to try first and what your ultimate goals are. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit filtergrade.com today.